What's up everybody, I'm Croat Code. welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how to make your own custom thumbnails for YouTube. Uh, this is a free way to make thumbnails, it's a great alternative for Photoshop and I want to take a moment to say thank you to Trickers, one of my subscribers for the video suggestion. He asked how to make great thumbnails, please make this one. So thank you for the video suggestion and let's get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to a website called pixlr.com slash editor. I have a link in the description but once you guys are on this website click on create a new image. Where it says width, you guys are going to change the settings to 1280 and on height 720. Tick the transparent box and click OK. Now you guys are going to be brought to this place, it's over your workspace. Your um, checkered background, this checkered background is basically your transparent background. So you guys are going to go ahead and you guys can resize your um, workspace on the bottom right corner. And basically you guys have your tools right here. These are some tools we're going to be using. Uh, what we're going to be using is the move tool. You guys can click this, this selection slash move tool. Basically, you guys can move around images and, st and good stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how to make your thumbnail. Now, the first step you guys are going to do is find a good image, a good background you guys want to use. A lot of people, um, the most common ones people use are the sunburst background. A lot of people use these for uh, YouTube videos and thumbnails. You guys can see this is an example right here. You guys have a sunburst background. Uh, another popular one are is the grunge background. You guys have certain types. You guys have red grunge. This is the blue grunge. This is a nice background to use. Um, the one I use for this video is a purple nebula background. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save one. So click this, view image, and save it. Make sure, before you guys uh, download a background, make sure it's 1280 by 720 or it's close to it. You guys don't want to download a really small background and then when you stretch it, it's going to look all crazy. No, we don't want that. So you're going to find the correct file size. Now you're going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it as background and then go back to Pixlr. Now what you guys are going to do is go to File, Open Image, find your background. And then what you guys are going to have to do is uh, copy this background and paste it into your workspace. To do that, hit Control A on your keyboard to select a background. You guys should see like marching ants. Hit Control C to copy it. And now you guys can go back here and hit Control V to paste. And there you go. Click on this little move tool to position it around. You guys can also uh, resize it. You can go to Edit, Free Transform. Hold Shift and on the top corner, you basically drag. Just like that. That's what you guys can do. All right. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and find more transparent images to put. So if I go to File, Open Image, I have a transparent hand right here. I'm going to do the same thing. Control A to select, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste. There you go. You guys can find transparent images. Let me give you an example. You guys can put, um, for instance, a smile face transparent. You guys can see this is an example. So this is a checkered background. You guys can see this is a transparent image. You guys can put that in there. You guys don't want to have images and basically you don't want to have white spaces around it. You guys want to always get transparent ones. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and now find a YouTube logo that's transparent. Go to images right here. View image. Do the same thing. Save it as YouTube. All right, file, open image, YouTube, get that done. There you go. Now, this is way too big. <laughs> That's what she said. We're going to go ahead and resize it, all right? So, again, edit, free transform. There you go. Place it right there. Now, you guys are going to go ahead and uh, click on layer 2 or whatever layer you guys have. And basically, see now, let me show you guys something. This is where layers comes in handy and this is the whole purpose of layers. As you guys can see, I'm trying to have my hand over the logo but it's going underneath. So how do you fix that? On the layer section, you guys can see if I uncheck layer 3, that's my button. If I uncheck layer 2, it's my hand. You guys got to click on layer 2 and just drag it up. That way it overlaps it. There you go. That's all you guys got to do. I recommend you guys, um, you don't have to, but renaming these layers. That way you don't get lost. It's more convenient. And yeah, now it's time to add some text. So you guys can click on, on the text tools, click on the type tool right here. It has a symbol of an A and click anywhere. 
Now, type in anything you guys want. I'm going to put your thumbnail. So as you guys can see, I'm going to um, go ahead and change the color to white. Just so it stands out and it matches the hand. Now, this is really, really important. I am dead serious. A lot of people I've been seeing on YouTube, they use like generic fonts like Times New Roman or something. You don't want to be that guy on YouTube that has a crappy font. You guys want to get really nice fonts that stand out. You guys should check out thefont.com and download some of their free fonts. You guys can uh, use Badaboom comic fonts. You guys can use um, American Captain. That's a font I use and looks really good. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. This is the American Captain. To resize it, click here and drag it. Click OK. So as you guys can see, here's my font. Now, I want to make it bigger, but I can't because... Uh, by default, 130 is the max size you guys can do for fonts. So what you guys can do to make your text bigger is make it into an object and then resize it yourself. So on the layers, select your text. Mine is your. Right click, resasterize layer. Then go to edit, free transform. Hold shift on the corners. And there you go. You can resize it. So your. Now what you guys can also do to make it stand out to not make your text look uh, boring, go to layer and then go to layer styles. Make sure that your um, text layer is selected. And you guys are gonna pick on drop shadow. And as you guys can see, it adds a little shadow. So it makes your text stand out. So your thumbnail. All right. There you go. You guys get the idea. This is me basically just giving you guys examples. Layer styles, drop shadow, and yeah, it's pretty cool. You guys can also resize it, but I'm not going to do that right now. But basically, you guys get the idea. Um, that's how you guys make your own custom thumbnail. Um, to save it, just go to File, Save, and then uh, title it, whatever you guys want. I'm going to put my thumbnail. Drag the quality all the way up to 100 so you get the best possible quality and click OK and then just save it and that's it that's all you guys got to do to make your thumbnail of course you can make it a lot better mine was just like this uh, it's just something simple to show you guys because a lot of people have been asking me how do you make your thumbnails and there you go now if you guys have photoshop you can do a lot more things with it um later on i want to make a video on how to make thumbnails with photoshop so if you guys want that go ahead and let me know in the comments below i'm not gonna make a tutorial on it if no one wants it so yeah Alright guys, if you want to put it on YouTube, all you guys got to do is basically click edit on one of your videos and then um, where it says change image or, or choose a custom image, you guys are going to click that and find your thumbnail and click open and then click save. That's it. If you guys can't upload any uh, thumbnails for some reason, you guys got to make sure that your uh, YouTube account is verified um, and also make sure you guys have your videos as you guys basically got to be a partner. Have your videos monetized. When it's monetized through AdSense or whatever, then you guys should be able to upload custom images. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Croat Code. Um, if you guys want to know how to edit videos, please click the annotation on the screen. Or if you guys want to know how to record your videos with fraps, your gameplays, check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.